<laughs> oh my gosh. All right, most improved artist of the year. This might require some thought on my part. Who do I think is most improved? Like next year, they're just going to be up and popping. Most improved artist? Ooh. Oh, that's easy, Rick Ross, because Rick Ross gets better every album, which is crazy. Like, you, you really get to see, like, it's weird to see something. Like, if you go back and listen to Port of Miami, he sounds horrible. Like, his flow is, like, he's not good, you know, but the beats are great, you know? And then it's like, by the time he got to um, I'm the Biggest Boss, that you, he kind of was getting that, like, his, his whole style together and stuff. But, I mean, the rapping he's doing on, the, on this, it's, it's so, like, he's so in his zone now of, like, his persona, the charisma, you know, when he comes in that Kanye record, it just feels like a moment. So for sure, to me, it's Wiz because he was, you know, Wiz has been building his fan base and just his career for a minute. I think he, he exploded, you know what I'm saying, in comparison to a lot of other people that were in, in his, like, league last year. Pusha T. I say Pusha T. Um, Kanye just... Say, come over here and put him in the headlock and now push your T's on every record in the world. I know this may sound kind of crazy, but I feel like the most improved artist this past year was actually Eminem. Um, you know, not in terms of his skill set, so to speak, because I don't think Eminem's making the best music he's ever made or anything or that he figured out how to rhyme better. But I think when you think about it in, in terms of viability and dominant, dominant sales nonstop, it felt like... He was never going to slow down in terms of sales. He had the huge concerts with Jay-Z. He's had single after single. You know, I think from you take Eminem from where he was at uh, Relapse and put him up now where he's at after recovery, and it's just just insane. I mean, I mean, you know, this might be overshooting it, but... Clearly, Kanye West was most improved from his, you know, not so much as far as skill-wise, but just as as far as, you know, going from negative to a positive. I might have to say Joe Button. I mean, I've always liked Joe Button, but I think that he's really come into his own. Most improved rapper of the year has to be Lloyd Banks. No question about it, because you're talking about somebody who went from rookie of the year at one point to all of a sudden it just got quiet. And while you have to give Banks a bit of more, a lot more credit than, 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 than most people, is because Banks was the, probably the only first, the member of G-Unit that went off and played with other kids. He went to play with, you know, Joel Santana. He got with the D-Block folks. And in the process of doing that, reminded people how good he actually was. 